Say not the struggle nought availeth, the labour and the wounds are vain. The enemy faints not nor faileth, and, as things have been, they remain. For while the tired waves vainly breaking seem here no painful inch to gain, far back through creeks and inlets making comes silent, flooding in the main. And not by eastern windows only, when daylight comes, comes in the light. In front, the sun climbs slow, how slowly, but westward look, the land is bright. In suffering, let your love be peace. In weakness let your love be power, and when the storms of life shall cease, Jesus, in that tremendous hour, through death to life, still be my guide, and save me then, for whom you died. Psalm 144 begins with these thoughts. The length of our lives are no more than a breath or a passing shadow. Yet you, O Lord, give careful attention to us. So we bless you. For in you we find a sure foundation. Strength to meet the challenges that face us. We encounter your compassion. We find one to whom we can flee and discover security, all-round protection, deliverance, and ultimate and complete victory. My soul is weary. Strengthen me according to your word. Lord, perhaps evening is the time we're most conscious of our weakness. For all our va vaunted claims as human beings, we're brought face to face with reality. We are completely ephemeral a will-o'-the-wisp. Yet you love us. Your loving-kindness enfolds our every step. And in you, you alone, we find everything we need and much more besides. Even a share in your victory. Lord, we place ourselves afresh in your hands. In suffering, let your love be peace. In weakness, let your love be power. And when the storms of life shall cease, Jesus, in that tremendous hour, through death to life, Still be my guide and save me then, for whom you died. May the love of the Father fill your heart, the peace of the Son guard your mind, the grace of the Spirit guide your life the enfolding compassion of the beautiful three be yours unto the ages of ages.